Hello everyone, it is Hyperforce, welcome back to another episode of Boom Beach. In the last video, we spoke about the Boom Beach update, which by the way, thank you so much. Over 7,000 views in less than 24 hours, that is insane. If you type in Boom Beach, I saw it was on the front page. That's awesome. Never happened to me before. I appreciate every single one of you guys who took the time to spread the word, to spread the video, but also watch the video on itself. And we got a couple of new people joining into the channel. Welcome aboard. This video is going to be a follow-up video of that video. If you want to see the original video, it is somewhere on the screen right now. But also in the video description down below, if you have a mobile device, you can go ahead and check the video out down there. I'm gonna be uh, give you guys some pointers on what you can do to prepare for the next Boom Beach update. I'm gonna be going over some of the changes I've undergone myself because, well, first things first, I wanna let you guys know Quest to Top 50, which is my series ongoing, is gonna be on a little bit of a hiatus. If you don't know what a hiatus means, it means a break. I'm gonna take a little break from the series because I don't have a lot of power powder left. I don't have a lot of diamonds because I'm probably gonna be wasting them all on upgrading my Tana and stuff like that. And also, I need offensive. I need to go save up for prototype defenses and stuff. So that series is gonna be continuing very, very soon in the near future, near the end of the year somewhere. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys aren't too disappointed with that. You know, I just really need to get resources and the way I do that is by taking down bases. So, without any further ado, let's get into the changes that I've been making. And then after that, I'm going to be talking about some of the stuff that uh, you guys can take into consideration. I just want to point out the new Boom Beach update is uh, kind of like aimed towards the high-end player as well, or people with a weapon lab at headquarters level 15, you'll be able to unlock Hammerman Strikes back. That means that the event's also gonna be for you guys out there. But first things first, let's go into what we have been changing. So I dropped defense, right? Um, I'm gonna be uh, refunding this one or reclaiming this one very soon once I get a, uh, a replacement statue because I mean a building a health masterpiece is still pretty good now the one thing that I'm gonna be doing is I am not going to be touching these ice crystals at all until I go back into defense that is the tip I want to give you guys if you're gonna be going fully offensive just don't touch your ice crystals just don't use them at all make sure you get your masterpieces and your power powder from Dark, Magma and Life, because that's just the way to go. And then the moment you go back into Ice, what I'm going to be doing later on, I will have a bunch of Ice Crystals and then I'll be able to craft Masterpiece after Masterpiece after Masterpiece and then hopefully getting myself a really good statue or two. So that is, that's the plan, you know. Um... I want to be getting myself a resource ward masterpiece back again. Uh, that's kind of why I'm waiting with re replacing this one out there. But I, I had three eye statues in total. Right now I have one. I actually got myself a uh, troop health 13%. Was the best I was able to get. And a 8% over here. I know that's not the highest out there. But that is what I've been getting through my magma shards and so on and so forth. So I've been getting rid of my eye statues. Which is, yeah, I'm going to be missing them. But you will immediately notice the difference here. I actually did get raided twice since I've been doing that and my home base defended but that guy didn't really do anything in that attack anyway so uh, yeah it's gonna be hard to see that my base is gonna be getting taken down especially after I just placed these shock blasters now I should, should still be able to get myself a good amount of diamonds from people trying to take down the base actually succeeding but them also losing a, a couple of units here and there so that way I'm gonna be getting myself some diamonds there um, as I already mentioned before, I'm going to be saving up some power powder. Where's my sculptor? I cannot find it. My sculptor, where are you? It's right here. Um, I currently have 17 power powder. I kind of want to be getting like, I don't know, 300 or something like that. And then I'm going to really push hardcore. And I, I, I'll just let you guys in on this. I actually do plan on going for like top 50 in the top leaderboards globally as well. Uh, trying to dethrone my good buddy Sculpt. From the rank 1 position. He's actually one of the viewers on my videos. Who occasionally comes to the live stream. So I, I sometimes uh, talk strategy with him as well. So that's some of the stuff that's going to be going down. Uh, so yeah. Quest to top 50. Going to be continuing soon. I really want to save up all of these prototype defenses. 
so that way, I mean prototype modules, so that way I can build myself like a laser beam level 3 and a shock blast level 3 at the same time without having to worry about prototype defenses. Once again, I have no idea what the update's going to be bringing us, so maybe there's no need to do that, but we'll see about that in the near future. Okay, so that's about the changes that I've been making. Now, here's what you can do in order to uh, get yourself prepared for the next Boom Beach update. Uh, I just want to make a quick little disclaimer here, letting you guys know that this is mostly aimed towards the people that can actually go to headquarters level 21, um, who uh, already are headquarters level 20. Uh, but here's how you can prepare for the next Boom Beach update. Uh, what you can do is uh, upgrade your storages like right now you can do that the update is about a week away from now I would definitely recommend upgrading your storages because that way you are able to hold more uh, of the resources in the game uh, Also try to be very active into the game so that way people don't really take you down If you do have your eye statues try to boost those up as much as you can because that way you're gonna be able to preserve your uh, resources in here um, definitely get yourself a resource ward masterpiece, that's what I'm aiming for. I currently don't have one and um, it is kind of frustrating. I want to be getting myself some resources, uh, some gold to attack some bases, but most importantly, the resource ward really helps you out during um, stuff like Dr. Terror, which is currently ongoing. So, um, that's something that I am personally missing out on and I hope that you guys will get something out of that. Um, also... What you can do is try to make sure that the bases that you currently have, scout, scout the bases in advance and try to see if they got like a good chunk of resources. So if you're maxed out headquarters level 20, uh, 100,000 like of every single resource is not really that much. There's actually a couple of bases on there which I've scouted before, I think at the bottom. Uh, let me see, this guy, he has a decent amount of resources, you can still take him down if you really want to. This guy has a lot of resources, I'm gonna be saving it up, and then the moment I'm gonna be taking on every single base, uh, just before the update, I should have a lot of resources to, uh, to, uh, go around doing that. This guy as well, over 250,000 of every single resource is what I consider to have a lot of resources. Everything below 250,000, I basically take down as fast as I can, so that way we can refresh those bases and so on and so forth. So, I'm gonna be doing a couple of base takedowns during livestream tonight. 8 p.m. Uh, European Netherlands time. There will be a converter in the video description down below. Or it will be on screen as well. But you guys can go ahead and check out the live stream. And we can actually talk about the update. Your thoughts, your opinions. I'm always curious to know about that. This guy, for instance. Definitely keeping this guy on the map. I mean, the coolest thing about Boom Beach is if you scout a base, the amount of resources that they're going to be giving is never going to be changing. So the moment it registers how many resources it has... Uh, it's never going to be changing. So for this one, I definitely want to be making sure that I got my resource ward masterpiece boosted up once I get it. And then I'll be having like, I don't know, 2 million resources after I take this guy down. So that is really exciting. And this base, um, honestly, doesn't seem too hard. He has like some eye statues over here. Uh, actually, no, he has like five eye statues. But you know what? That's going to be fine because I'm going to be going fully offensive um, on the next Boom Beach update. And I will be able to show you guys some task force operation attacks. I'll be able to show you guys some cool Boom Beach base takedowns. And uh, later today, you guys will be getting another episode of the Boom Beach base reviews. If you have not submitted your base yet, you can go ahead uh, to the last episode of that. And you automatically have a chance of getting entered in uh, today's episode. So that being said, we're going to be wrapping this video off here. Don't forget to join the live stream, which is going to be happening to my... Uh, tonight, the the uh, time is actually going to be on the screen once again, uh, whenever that's going to be starting. And um, yeah, that's going to be doing it. I spoke so much in this video, it is totally insane. But uh, yeah, anyway, as always, make sure if you guys like this video too, boom, give it a thumbs up. And that being said, this has been Reverse for Boom Beach. I'm going to be signing off and I'll see you guys in the next one.